In this video, viewer discretion is advised. If you are at all disturbed by images like this, please be fully aware this video is crammed packed full of images of an angry bird doing what it does. In this video, I'm going to present to you the Hot Wheels Angry Bird Slingshot Launch. It's a small set, it looks fairly entertaining and I'm going to try and crash it into all sorts of different things. One thing I noticed about this set is it's very popular, I see it flying off the shelves and in the faraway convict island where I live. It sells for around $20 but be careful, sometimes it can be up near $30. I'm sure there will be other prices around the world and far cheaper than what you see there. I'm not going to bore you with unboxing shots or analysis of how the set goes together or a comparison of the bird versus another car. Let's just get in and smash stuff up. That's really all you ever want to see, isn't it? Cockroach in here. Ah, that's dead. Wow, the Hot Wheels track's pretty good at cleaning up um, nasty critters. Next time I get a big spider, I'll have to get into it with a bit of Hot Wheels. Die! Die! If this Hot Wheels set is left in its standard configuration, this Angry Bird does, well, what Angry Birds do. It's a Hot Wheels version of what you'll see in the game Angry Birds. And sure, it's lots of fun, but you know what? We can ramp up the action. <laughs> with a little bit of frigging with the rigging in the rubber band area, that catapult can turn into a nasty beast. And all of a sudden, our Angry Bird has, well, a lot more anger. It's almost like someone strapped rockets under his wings. And in this form, there's hours of entertainment of crashing, smashing and bashing of your Angry Bird into this playset. The big question is, can Angry Birds rule the world? Is there enough room in the toy kingdom for this Angry Bird to be allowed in? Maybe it's time to do Angry Bird versus the toys. And let's see if this Angry Bird has an absolute knockout punch to land its place in the toy kingdom. First up is Angry Bird versus a baby toy alien. Wow, looks like Angry Bird sent that baby alien back to outer space. Ah uh, look, how cute, some ponies, but can these ponies turn into bronies and kick Angry Bird back to where he came from? <coughs> well, it seems those ponies were sent packing back to their stables. Those ponies are powerful, that's a knockout punch by the Angry Bird. How about a hex bug? Can their random lifestyle trick a very angry bird? Well, it seems the Angry Bird gave those hex bugs a nano kick to another dimension. Okay, Angry Bird, how about these two? Surely you can't affect the absolute knockout punch that Mario and Luigi carry. Luigi, was that you? Well, looks like Angry Bird's done some plumbing work on the backside of those two. Well, it seems Angry Bird needs some adventure in his life, but does he have the time? Whoa, how was that for an adventure time, guys? Nothing can stop Angry Bird. How about some party animals? Those cute bears in costumes may be hiding a very secret weapon. <coughs> well, I've seen it all now. The Angry Bird used his tail feather to send the party animals to a totally different party. Now, with the new kids, can the mushy monster bubble bots dance a crazy way around the very angry bird? Ouch, that must have hurt. I think the Angry Bird has renamed these Bubble Bots, Hubble Bots. Can the absolute killer combo of Lego and SpongeBob SquarePants send the Angry Bird back to its catapult? Uh oh, there's that tail feather action again from Angry Bird. And it sent Spongebob and crew on a high velocity adventure they never expected. Mind you, Mr. Krabs is still holding his money. Enough's enough. Now for some Lego heavyweights, Ninjago. <coughs> Even though they were facing Angry Bird and had golden weapons, it was no match for the hyper velocity of Angry Bird. Okay, how about a classic Hot Wheels car? Can it sheer awesomeness send Angry Bird Back to the toy factory where he came from. Well, it looks like Angry Bird has met thy maker. He's been transformed into his component pieces by the awesomeness of a Hot Wheels vehicle. Oh, farewell! 
Well, I'm going to have a little bit of a chat during the file reel, and it's interesting the file reel is a very popular section of my videos. In fact, so much so, I think all I should upload is file reels and don't even bother putting videos together. But hopefully when you watch the fail reel you start to see sometimes it takes many times to get the single shot that I'm after. And what was really important about this review is I wanted to do something totally different to anybody else on YouTube. And even though I'm covering this set very late in the piece, I want it to be a standout piece. And you know what, there's a little bit of a cryptic message in this video and without me having to say it, I'm just hoping that it can come across by what you see on screen. What's interesting about Hot Wheels for me is a while back there was one person who asked me, Hey Leo, can you look at a Hot Wheels set please? And you know what I did, I went to Kmart and I just found something which looked visually interesting. I thought I could make an interesting video around that. And in the end that video has become very, very popular. And that did surprise me, I've got to admit. Hot Wheels is one of those toys which has been around for a long time now. It's definitely a classic toy. It's definitely a collectible style of toy. And apart from children who like these toys, there are plenty of adults who enjoy them as well. And yes, when I drag the Hot Wheels out in front of the camera, I've got to say, I always have an enjoyable time. And hopefully, the enjoyment of making this video comes across in what you see as a final product. Because what I'm finding is the videos which are fun to make tend to become popular videos as well. But hey, you can't count your Angry Birds until they've hatched, so only time will tell. And boy, didn't that little Hot Wheels Angry Bird love chasing down and hitting my camera lens. And yes, my camera is very second-hand. Then again, it's had plenty of damage from other videos, so it's just damage on top of damage. I told you, never buy a second-hand camera from me. <laughs> and to get that little scene where the Angry Bird flies apart when it hits the real McCoy Hot Wheels vehicle, uh, took a few attempts, and of course I've drilled out the rivets at the bottom of the Angry Bird, and he's just sort of sitting there together. I'm giving all the secrets away now, aren't I? And in that scene where Angry Bird flies apart on impact is very much the cryptic message in this video. Mind you, even with his rivets drilled out, he was still quite stubborn to explode on impact. And the take that I chose for the end of the video was more the comical version of impact. It's not the most dynamic, but to me, it's the funniest looking. In the far reel, I was going to put an audio sound over each title, which sounded something like this. Anyway, Nice to have a chat, and thank you very much for watching this video, if you've lasted this long. Well, I had to knock down that red colour because I have trouble with the slow motion cameras, and that red, it doesn't like that red colour when it's bright, so it's been knocked down. That's why my Angry Bird is different to yours. Rawr!